me back time after time heading south. Start in St. Paul, Minnesota. We're gonna take Highway 61. And on down to Hastings, Redway, Winona, Trumper. Radislav Lorkovic was born in Croatia, 1958, moved to the U.S. at age six. He, his tenure on the R&B folk circuits has accumulated in nine critically acclaimed solo recordings and numerous appearances on recordings and performances with numerous artists. You've seen that on the program. He tours the world regularly. He's performed at Carnegie Hall, the Kennedy Center, the Carson Daly Show, and two solo appearances on the Prairie Home Companion. He is an international ambassador for the Iowa Sound, and a 45 plus year career has given Radislav many great performance opportunities range from backing up Bo Diddley to working with numerous Eskimo villages throughout Southwest Alaska. Folks, it's time for our next inductee in the 2020 class of the Iowa Blues Hall of Fame. Say hello to Radislav Lorkovich. Give it up. Butch formed a group called The Extensions and performed in various places, even with the Ohio player and Smokey Robinson and the Miracles with Cleveland, Ohio. I'll tell you what. In the 1960s, Butch moved to California, Las Vegas to perform, and he played with the Platters at the legendary Flamingo in Las Vegas. Now in the 70s, the new establishment opened up for James, I'm talking James Brown at the RKO Theater in Des Moines. And after recording Foolish Fools with Grant Record, the band went to Georgia, down the southeast, and Alabama, and North Carolina, Florida, played all over there. And then in 1977, he went to California, performed on the Gong Show. I think that's pretty cool. Singing a song he wrote, Get Up, Get Down. Brother Butch now lives in West Des Moines, Iowa. Please welcome to the stage 2020 inductee into the Iowa Blues Hall of Fame. It's Brother Butch Edmonds. Give it up.
Sardis, Mississippi, Hal Reed has held residency in the Quad Cities for over 30 years. Hal is known for his outstanding leadership in raising awareness about the art form of the blues. He's keeping the blues alive. That's what you're doing. He has participated in the blues education programs throughout the Mississippi Valley Blues Society and the River Music Experience, making substantial impact on preserving the history of music. As a professional musician, Hal performs with a band in a solo duo act, averages three to four times a month throughout Iowa. Hal is a two-time winner of the Iowa Blues Challenge in 04. He won the band category, and then recently in 19, 2019, the solo duo category. And in 2018, he was inducted into the Quad Cities Blues Hall of Fame. But tonight, tonight, you're inducted into the Iowa Blues Hall of Fame. Please give it up, Hal Reed, newest member. Central Iowa Blues Society and the Blues Me program, I present the Webster Wagner Scholarship to Rodrigo Flores. So Scott Eggleston, either as a solo actor with his band, the Soul Searchers, play over 100 shows a year. During his career, Scott has performed with a host of blues royalty. How about these names? Anson Funderburg, Pine Top Perkins, James Harmon, Jimmy Vaughn, oh, and there's more. That's a quite a lineup. In 1994, the Soul Searchers won the Iowa Blues Challenge. They've appeared on the main stage at Davenport's Mississippi Valley Blues Festival, have performed at several jazz in July concerts, and have been featured on Iowa Public Radio and Iowa Public Television. In 2017, the Memphis-based Blues Foundation named the Soul Searchers self-titled self CD one of the top 10 self-produced blues albums. That's nice, that's good stuff right there. The band has released two other albums, including Boogie Woogie Nighthawk, which is in my truck right now. I'm listening to that all the time because it's such a good one. And the second one is Lounging in the Wood. That just came out yeah. a year, two years ago. 
Scott has been featured in two books written by students at Drake University. And I tell you what, if there's a Hall of Fame, I did. If there's a Hall of Fame for coolest dude in school, he would be in it. He's a true gentleman. Please welcome 2020 inductee in the Iowa Cummings Hall of Fame, Scott Eggfeld. Thank you. 